up front, you have to create the right patient expectations. You sit down with a patient, take your time, explain that this is an off-label use of uh, a drug that's approved for treating something else, um, that uh, they're going to go through a lot of downtime, they have to take care of their skin, uh, that you're going to be available, you're going to talk to them if they have problems and issues, which uh, they often do. And my experience is that if you set that upright with the patients, you choose the patient well, uh, everybody's happy at the end. The patient needs to understand that, you know, this isn't a waltz in the park. Maximal treatment with PDT consists of long incubation times with either ALA, that's Levulan, or methyl ALA, that's Metfix. So you need to put that drug on there for a period of uh, three hours or so. I usually do this with occlusion, so you're going to have a long time in the office. Um, and you need to keep the patient warm. The enzymes that convert the drug to the active porphyrins uh, are very temperature sensitive. The real kicker is that they're going to have quite an inflammatory reaction. When you do high dose red light photodynamic therapy this way, the intent is to get a necrosis of the sebaceous glands and in the process you get this kind of necrotizing folliculitis. So they're, they're going to have crusting and sterile pustules. Uh, many of those patients, almost all of them, will, will not want to be in public view for probably three to five days uh, following uh, treatment. The good news on the, is that sort of the I guess the punishment and the crime are related or something, that the uh, efficacy is very high. Uh, we typically will treat patients with three or four uh, photodynamic therapy treatments that are spaced about a month apart. And <clears throat> the first two treatments have these severe uh, treatment reactions during the first uh, several days following uh, treatment. It's interesting that treatments three and four much, are much more of a waltz in the park. Uh, typically uh, you'll get a sunburn-like reaction without all the um, uh, sort of uh, death and destruction, if you will, of, of sebaceous glands. Life without sebaceous glands is pretty good. Uh, number one, we, it doesn't really kill all of the sebaceous glands. So if you go and you measure how much sebum is being produced, which we have done, there's still some sebum output. Uh, so it's not like they're all absolutely gone. But the big ones, the ones that are associated with acne uh, producing hair follicles, yeah, they're, they're pretty much uh, suppressed or gone for, for a long period of time.